All right, so the next one is map. And uh, a map, so slice is for a list of something. A map is for key value storage. Okay, so to make a map, we're going to have a, we could do it with, um, let's just try this, okay? Let's just change this and see what happens. Map literal. And so we could say, hey, I'm going to have a map, and it's going to have a key of a string, and we're going to store a str and store an int. And then I could say, Todd, 45, believe it or not. And I could say, Nina. I wish I could do, hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to like be conservative. <laughs> and I could say, Patrick. <laughs> I just don't want to get myself in hot water. And I'm going to guess 27. <laughs> Whatever. And now I could range over my map. And I'm going to change these from IV to KV, or K, key and value. They could be anything. They're just identifiers. All right, and let's just get rid of all this stuff. I'll struct what we're doing next. I'll leave that there. So and let's format that and run. Like an Undefined I, because I need K and I need V. Voila! Map literal. Okay? A lot like the slice literal. So I'm just going to do this as a straight map literal. Can I see that again? Yeah. So I want you to click the link in this document, go to this code, and I want you to print the value out without using V. So throw away V here. I'll throw it away for you. Okay. So I've just thrown it, thrown it away, and using this, print map value without using V. Print map value without using second return and for range. Okay. So click that link right there. And I want you to print the map value without using this. So the map value goes here. Okay, that's where the map value goes. Print it. Watching this video online, you're wondering where do you get to that document. Here's the link to the document. Take a look at it. That's an O, capital O. And, uh, and so here's how I print out the map value. It's X and then the key, and the key is K. So that's just notation, right? You access the value by giving your map the key. And so here's the map, and then I give it the key, right? And I found it. Kind of like with a slice, we gave it the index, and it says, oh, at this, this position, I'll give you that value. But with the map, the key is not just some sequentially numbered value, int, right? It's whatever we want it. And here I said it's a string. All right? So that's, huh? Yeah, V's gone. And this could be gone too. We could always just get the key. And so that's a trick that you'll see sometimes in Go programming questions. You'll see a range like that, and then they'll be like, where's the air? And you're like, oh, there's the air. All right, so that's using a map composite literal. Can you explain that again? Which part? Answer. Um, so we could, we could print. When we print values of a map, you know, um, I say my map is X. I, that's a map that's a, the type of X. The type of X The type of X is map string int. Yeah. So it's a map, the key is a string, the value is an int. Yeah. Right? So if I want to print A value, I could say x right, and that'll give me the value. I just access that value by its key. Right, so just like here, right? You know, similar notation. Okay, but when you do x k and then it prints everything. Yeah, well here when it for one loops once, the first time through the key is Todd. Next time through Nina, next time Patrick. So it's putting Todd here, then Nina, and then Patrick. So it's just looking them up a different way. 
All right. So. So we'll get rid of that. And we'll bring this back to V. And then the next thing is uh, we could also use make to, to create a map. I don't know. And then we could just start doing things like I don't know if those zero zeros will show up before. Let's we'll put seven. Seven, seven, that's fine. Storm. So I could do this. So that's another way to make a map using make. Make a map with make. No, a struct is. So that's next. 